Welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I look like Jeffrey Dahmer again. We're taking those off. Anyway, I just want to come at you guys. I know that I have slacked on my makeup videos. I have like three pre-filmed. I just have to edit and upload them, um, but I have to find the time. I have the time. I just have to focus, focus. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to come at you. Um, I cannot stress how often I get questions about um, how to get over past situations, past hurt, things that have hurt you in the past. Um, that is a, a serious question I get. It's flooded my DMs with... I had to turn the air conditioner off. The air conditioner is super loud. Anyway, um, yeah, it's flooded my DMs, people wanting to know um, how to deal with past hurt and how to move forward from it. Um, that is hard, I will admit that, but um, I, if I could share my tips and tricks so that hopefully it, sh it helps somebody, um, that is important and half of the battle to me. So, um, if you guys would like to know my tips and tricks to help heal you and move forward from past hurt, then just keep watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you love makeup, stay because I have more makeup videos coming. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get started. Um, I have about like four or five things that points that I wanna to touch on um, and they're all over the place. They all correlate, but I'll just start with one. Um, the first and most important one is you have to forgive. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to forgive somebody when they hurt me. And I know I didn't want to forgive the person that hurt me either. All the people that hurt me my whole life. There's a ton of them. But to move forward, you have to forgive because if you do not forgive, you will be stuck in this ball of hatred and that just makes you an ugly person. Hate makes you ugly. So don't do it. Don't be hateful. And forgiving somebody that's not sorry is really, really hard. I had to do it. There's plenty of people that have had to do it. And you have to do it if you want to move forward. It'll free you from the situation that you're in. Forgiveness is a great quality to have. And although someone might not be sorry, forgive them anyway because that makes you the bigger person and the better person. Number two is expression and responsibility. Um, I got this tip from my therapist. Like I said, I'm a very big advocate for therapy. Y'all should go. If you're in California, in the Central Valley, go to my lady, she's the bomb. <laughs> um, but expression and responsibility is what I like to say. Basically what that means is you have to be able to express your feelings, but take responsibility for those feelings. Um, so I'm a sad per, not a sad person. I'm a feelsy person. I have a lot of feelings. If I love you, you're going to know I love you. If I'm sad, or if you say something that hurt my feelings, you're gonna know because I'll guaranteed cry or I will tell you that it hurt my feelings. Um, I'm a very expressive person and you have to be able to express your feelings. You have to be able to go through the motions because if you keep everything inside, it's gonna build up and build up and then you're gonna blow. So being able to talk about your feelings is very therapeutic and it frees you of those feelings. Um, but the taking responsibility for those feelings part is saying, okay, Somebody hurt me, and that's awful, but what did I do in a situation that maybe I could have done differently next time? What did I do, and solely speaking, I'll give you an example of me. I looked back on the four years that I was in a relationship with this person, and I said, what did I do in this relationship that I could do differently next time in my future, for my future relationship? And that allows you to grow as a person and to really um, use it as a learning experience because that's ultimately what it is. It happened and you move forward and it's a learning experience. And you learn what you don't want in a relationship next time and you learn what to do differently. And that's important. 
Um, that's very important. So express your feelings. Talk about it. Talk to your mom. Talk to your friends. Talk to a therapist. Talk to your coworkers. Talk about it. It's okay to talk about it, but at some at some point you have to stop, look at what you're talking about, take responsibility for you and your actions, and move forward. Tip number three. I like to say this is my choose joy tip because it's basically living in the here and the now and being grateful for this day and what it brings. Um, you can't dwell on the past and you can't complain about the future. You have to live in the moment and praise the joy that you have in that moment. You know, there's something good in every day and the past is a negative thing to reflect on if you're reflecting on the, the bad that happened in the past, the hurt. That's a negative thing to look at. Choose the joyful things to look at. Choose the things that make you happy, the things that are positive, the things that have are just in what you can control, which is basically what is happening in the now. You can't control the past and you can't control the future. So focus on the now and focus on making it a joyful experience in the now. All right, you guys, I had to pause it for a second because I got a phone call. <laughs> I am at work. Do you like my little barrette, by the way? This came in my Rain Lash subscription box. Um, I had made a whole video about that. I'll link it up here. Um, it's a lash subscription service and it's brilliant. So anyway, sorry, I got distracted. My very last tip, it might seem harsh, like when I first said it out loud, I was like, wow, that seems very harsh, but um, it's a reality. <laughs> All of this is a reality. So. The last one is you have to stop blaming other people and playing the victim. Um, I know playing the victim seems like crazy and harsh because like you're the one that got hurt. You, sh you are the victim. But I mean, reality is people get hurt all the time. Bad things happen to people every day. You cannot dwell on it and you cannot do the poor me card because nobody likes that person. And I'm just gonna be straight up honest. Nobody likes the poor me person who's like, oh, always feel sorry for me because like I said, bad things happen to people every day. Nobody is perfect and not everybody has had a perfect life, but you cannot dwell on it. You have to move forward and you have to learn and grow from it because playing the victim and doing the poor me, you'll never move forward. You'll always be stuck on that situation and in that situation. And you never allow yourself to be a bigger person and grow from it because that's what this whole thing is about is learning and growing and becoming a better person from your past. Your past doesn't define you and what has hurt you doesn't define you but it can help make you a better person. Um, and there's a lot of people in this world that have been hurt but um, growing from it and taking it and turning it into something different than just a victim is a lot better than every day being like, poor me, poor me, poor me. You'll never be in a good mentality. You'll always be sad. You'll always be upset. You'll always be dwelling on it. If you turn it around and say, okay, that happened to me and it was really bad, but you know what? I'm gonna strive to be a stronger person. You'll be surprised how you will feel. So I hope these tips helped. I hope explain, me explaining them helped you a little bit. I hope that you guys can take from this and whatever you're going through, apply it to you and come out stronger than ever on the other side. Um, always remember that you are stronger than what you are going through and um, time heals all wounds. Give yourself time to go through the motions and all of that and you will become a better person you will come out on the other side you'll be stronger than ever um always remember that i love your seeing your dms i love that you guys <laughs> interact with me it's my most favorite thing in the whole entire world so um i love you all i hope you have the best day ever the best week ever and i'll see you in my next video which will be a makeup video okay all right thanks